I'm going to talk about clean inventory and what that does and how it works. To find clean inventory, you go to the back end of your online order page or of your WordPress website. You press Clover Orders, Settings, Import Sync Inventory. And then once you're here, scroll to the very bottom and you'll see Clean Inventory. Clean Inventory removes modifier groups, modifiers, taxes. Basically, it cleans your inventory. So what it does, it checks with your Clover inventory. And if it finds any item that's no longer on your Clover inventory, it removes it from there. So for example, here's the modifier groups. There's some, there's only two modifi uh, modifier groups here. Here's the categories, okay? It will look through your uh, modifier groups, it will look through your categories, and if it finds something that no longer exists on your Clover, it will remove it. So let me tell you how that works. So when you press this button, it'll, it's gonna ask you a question. This, it will tell you that it'll take a few minutes. So um, depending on how big your inventory is, it could take some time, okay? So I'm gonna press next. It, the first thing it will clean is the order types. Go ahead, clean this one too, okay? Because order types will be a very fast clean and it's worth doing it. Next one will be, well, yeah, before you press next, make sure you see the word cleaned. When you see this word, that means you can go to the next step and then press start. Cleaned, then now you can go to the next one, press start. Again, just wait till it says cleaned, okay? It, now that I saw the word clean, it, now I can go to the next one and then start. Modifiers uh, can take a long time, depending on how many modifiers you have. This one was only a few, so that was very fast. Categories can take maybe 30 seconds. This one will take about 20, 30 seconds because there's 37 categories. So the more categories you have, the longer it will clean it. So what happens is it's checking the Clover categories and if it compares it, if there is any difference, it will remove it. So let's say you remove two categories from Clover inventory, it will check if nothing is there to be cleaned, it won't remove it. Next one. So again, when you do this, even if you did not remember if you if you removed anything from there, it's always a good idea to do it because it will just improve your inventory just in case. Because uh, you may have a redundant item there. You may have an item or a category or a modifier that you no longer need or you moved it from Clover. So it's a good time to do this. This one will take a while, okay? Because there's 997 items. <clears throat> Again, cleaning items takes the longest. So you may want to walk away, grab some tea, grab uh, water to drink. Uh, because depending on how many items you have, it'll take some time. Because uh, this video is an example video, I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm going to skip this. Okay, I'm going to press next. But in your case, make sure to wait it out until it finishes. When you see the word cleaned, that means you're done. But because I don't want to take too much of your time in this video, I'm going to press next. When you're finished, you'll see this message. That means your inventory has been cleaned. Now, let me explain to you what manual sync is, okay? Manual sync is if you added items. If you added items to your Clover inventory, clean inventory won't show it. This will only help you remove old stuff. So after you finish your clean inventory, it's a good idea to refresh the page at the very top of your browser. Just refresh the page, okay? Once you refresh the page, go back to import sync inventory here and start this process, okay? Let's say you add a new order type, press update order type. If you change your taxes, press update taxes. If you don't remember if you change your taxes, it's still okay. You can still press this button. It's not gonna hurt it. If you change your modifiers, press this button, okay? I recommend doing all of them because you may, somebody at the business may have changed something. Maybe your partner changed something. Maybe an employee changed something and you don't remember which one they changed. Just do all of them just in case, okay? I'm gonna do categories now and then update all items. And items will take a little bit longer because there's 1146, but it shouldn't be too long. So how, why did I do it? Um, why did I do a clean and a, a manual sync? Again, in your case, you may not have to do both. You may just have to do a clean and you're done. Um, I did both just to show you that you can do both because you may have removed stuff and you may have added stuff. So I did a clean and a update. Again, update. If you change the prices, if you renamed an item, if you move stuff around, if you added modifier requirements, then do this one, okay? So hopefully this video helped you out. Um, if you don't know how to log into the back end to get here, um, do a YouTube video search for that. It'll tell you how to log into the back end. 
Uh, here's some helpful articles here. Here's some more video tutorials. Feel free to subscribe. Um, that way you can get updated on the latest updates. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.